Holy cannoli, this is a game changer. If you wanna reduce the cost of raw goods during your candle testing process, then Wickless testing is for you. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. It's Carrie, owner and maker of Couture Home and Body. I'm so glad that you're here. Wickless testing, let's get into it. I recently learned about Wickless testing. I was watching Brie from Calafia Candle Co. doing Wickless testing. It blew my mind. A quick little YouTube search pulled up Jeff Stanley of Hand Stanley Handcrafted, and I was like, okay, I'm definitely missing out. Late to the game, but if you're like me and you're still learning how you can continually upgrade, elevate, and refine your candle making process, Wickless testing is the new hotness for me and a hope for you. <laughs> so with wickless testing, you are not having to use multiple vessels, um, more wax and oil and wicks to figure out what is the right wick size for your vessel. In my previous video, we were figuring out what the wax fill weight was for a brand new vessel. And so now we are just in the testing phase of which wick will work best for this gorgeous baby right here. All right, so I have the CD24 wicks right here. I've got my vessel. So here's the thing, the way that I'm going to test this is I'm just gonna pour wax and oil as I normally would. I'm just gonna use this wick centering tool to kind of get an idea of what the center might be. And so, let's see. That looks pretty good. What you're gonna do is you're just gonna create a hole right down to the bottom, just like that. Then you're going to grab your wick and you're gonna feed it through. And then you're just gonna trim off the excess. All right, and this is the most important part is now we need to fill in the wax. So grab your heat gun. So now we just need to let that settle and do its thing. And then we'll come back and take a look at it when it's completely solidified. All right, now that everything is solidified, we are going to light this and begin our burn test. This is a very general guide for your candle, but typically they will burn about a quarter to half inch per hour. So that's why it's good to do a four hour burn to get a full melt pool. Obviously this depends upon your wax, your wick, your vessel, the room temp, and making sure there are no drafts. All right, it's been just over an hour. It's been like an hour and 10 minutes. So here is how this wick is burning. We are at the four hour burn mock. Got a decent little mushroom there, but it's not sooting. I just opened the window because it was getting really hot. So I'm gonna blow this out, but I just wanted to show you really quickly uh, how we're doing. Very happy. I think the, the one wick is definitely gonna work. I think my client will be very happy. And uh, we'll see how the subsequent burns go once this cools. All right, we are on day two of the burn test. Check back in in a couple of hours. I'm gonna do a quick temp check here. 
it's warm, barely warm. It's warmish up here, like where the um, where the flame is here. Totally cool at the bottom. And these are tough because honestly, um, it's kind of hitting the flame, kind of hitting the side, but safety for glass is around 140, 135 to 140 degrees. Just trying to get my average here. Yeah, <laughs> and then this side, it says it's one, it's 98. So, you know, give or take 10 degrees, but I'm feeling very confident that this is not over, like burning too hot. We are just about at the four hour mark. Let's see how it's feeling. I mean, the vessel is warm, but it's not hot. Let's see. 108. We'll see what this side says. Sorry, you guys, I'm trying my best here with the camera. 101.7. So, you know, we've got this variable temperature. Let me try back here. Oops, I don't want to hit the flame. Okay. So two out of three, we're saying 108.7. We are in uh, well below the range of 135 to 140 for heat safety. There she is, gorgeous. All right, so to extinguish, I'm just gonna use this as a test. I'm gonna use the lid and just pop it on top and see what happens. See if it snuffs out the flame. And it does beautifully, absolutely beautifully.